In this tutorial, we will show you how to install Print Server. First of all, open up the Start menu and click on Control Panel. Once the Control Panel window opens up, click on Programs and Features. In the Programs and Features window, click on the Turn Windows Features On or Off option, which is located on the pane towards the left side of the window. Once the new window opens up, click on the Print and Document Services option. Now tick on the checkboxes titled LPD Print Service and LPR Port Monitor. With that done, click on OK and let's close all the opened windows. Now let's move to the Start menu and click on Devices and Printers. Over here, click on the Add a Printer button on top. With that done, let's add a local printer here. In the next window, switch to Create a New Port and select Standard TCP IP Port from the drop-down menu. With that done, click on Next. Now you'll be required to put the IP address and with that done, click on Next. In the next screen, switch to the Custom option and click on Settings. Over here, in the Port Setting window, switch to LPR, and in the LPR Settings section, type L1 in the Q name filed. With that done, click on OK. In the next window, you will be required to choose a printer before moving on to the next step. Once the printer has been installed, this window will appear right in front of you. Over here, keep the option Do Not Share This Printer enabled and move on to the next step. With that done, you would have successfully added the printer to your system. To test the newly added printer, you can click on Print a Test Page. Now we will be creating a virtual port to connect with the printer. For that, add a local printer and click on the Use an Existing Port option this time. With that done, move on to the next step. Over here, you will be required to select your printer before moving on to the next step. Keep the recommended settings as it is in this step and click on Next. With that done, simply keep moving through the wizard and install the printer. In the last step, do remember to tick on the checkbox titled Set as the Default Printer and click on Finish to close the window. Now, in the Devices and Printers window, click on the Print Server Properties button on top. When the Print Server Properties window opens up, move over to the Ports tab. Over here, you can see that your printer is successfully installed and it is using the LPT1 port. Click on OK to close this window and that's it. You have successfully installed your print server.